are not hungry, okay? You're not hungry. It's all in your head. Well, I guess you are hungry. You better feed me. You know how we used to do. You know we used to be like that. And you know, when I tell you that you're hungry, you eat wild cheese and, and chips and cookies. myself up sometime but welcome back to the channel welcome back to adventures with lady t if this is your first time viewing welcome 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 won't you consider subscribing go ahead leave me a comment down below let me know that you did uh stop by to view the video and if you like it or if you have any questions that you would like answered on one of these videos anything q a anything like that Drop that in the comment section because I am still working on a Q&A video. So, for those that may be new be new to the page, I had VSG surgery. <laughs> I actually had this surgery December the 8th of 2022. Yay! So, I am two months post-op. Y'all, I seriously had planned to do one at the six week mark but i'm just getting back back in the swing of things uh, this is a busy time of the year for me due to work due to uh, having my own tax practice all of that good stuff all right so i said you know what i got to make time and sit down to talk to my peeps on my channel so that's what i'm doing now so y'all you saw the beginning of the video okay that's what two months looks like okay there's a there's a war going on all right so i started off let me start with the stats before we get into all the juicy details okay so my beginning weight was 245 right all right surgery weight was 216 and y'all i just weighed myself this past sunday which today is wednesday all right so this is actually the first of february so i weigh myself and i am down to 203 Woo! so y'all i'm gonna include some more i found some more pictures y'all so i'm gonna include some more um before and after photos so y'all can really see the transformation all right because i found some photos for when i got married um almost four years ago and oh my god i know i had to have been more than 245 pounds y'all because you could just see it everywhere all over my body and my face my neck i mean just all over but y'all y'all will be able to see it all right so so let me tell you about the struggle, okay? Because y'all know I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly because I want to, I want you to know, you know, if you are considering this surgery, that you know what it's going to be all going in, all right? So excuse the face, didn't have time to do makeup. Like I said, I've been, your girl been busy and she been handling other things, okay? So Y'all might see me glammed up on another one. All right, just not today. So look, <laughs> so the struggle is real, okay? So uh, at this point, I'm able to eat more, okay? Because at first, I was maybe only able to eat like two ounces, two to three ounces. But I can tell now that my appetite and the, the portion size that I can eat has increased all right so it's a little bit scary all right because the last thing that i want to do is get back to the weight that i was all right and get back into those bad habits so um now i'm able to um eat you know of course the soft foods like uh, you know the fish the seafood um i tried shrimp today very i mean i was able to eat about five or six shrimp you know and you know of course i had to chew them really really fine you know really fine 
Um, so I'm, I'm really dealing with a lot of head hunger. All right. And it's, it's like, I can tell when it's head hunger versus me actually being hungry because it's two different feelings. Right now, one thing I will say when I'm hungry, it hits me like a train. Like all of a sudden it's like, boom, I'm hungry and I need to eat right now. Like, I'm probably driving my husband crazy at this point because I'm like, I'm hungry. Like, now. Like, I, I can't wait. I need... <laughs> no, I'm, I'm really not that bad, but I let him know I'm hungry. Like, I need something right now. I need something, you know. And um, it, it hits me just like, a, you know, because just think about it. I'm not intaking as much as I normally would at a time. So, once that food passes through, it's hey the stomach is ready for some more you know so i would say i eat maybe every two hours i'm i'm drinking or i'm eating something you know so um i've tried tuna i've tried um uh, a lot of other things that i have been introducing but back to the point um but when it's head hunger is when I know I have just eaten, okay? And I just feel like, okay, I'm bored or I'm watching a movie or I'm watching YouTube and this is when I normally would be snacking on something and I just feel like, okay, I want to go eat something. But technically, I'm really not hungry, but, you know, it's been a struggle for your girl, all right? So I said, you know what, it, it got me a couple of times, but I said, I got to reel that back in because I don't want to get back into the habit because you got to realize when you have this surgery, it's not a fix all do all like you still got to play your part. You know, you still got to make sure that you're not eating the wrong things, you know, you got to make sure that you're not just eating just because you're bored or those same triggers that maybe got you overweight or, you know, in the first place. So I'm dealing with a lot of that now. I will say sometimes, some, some days, so every day sometimes look, looks different. Like, some days, you know, I can eat more than other days. Other days, it's like, mm, you know, I'll feel that same hunger and I'll go fix something to eat and I'll maybe take two bites and I'm like, eh, I'm not feeling it. Um, I'm not really hungry right now. I'll wait a while and then, you know, go back to it and eat it again, you know, or try again. So every day is kind of different for me. I, I, I don't know what, you know. My, my stomach is going to be, you know, how, how my stomach is going to be when I, when I get up in the morning, I just, it's a lot of trial and error, especially with me introducing new foods back into, um, not new foods, but introducing foods back into my diet after being on a liquid and full liquid diet for so long. <laughs> it's been real y'all. This, this journey is, like I said, is not for the faint of heart. It's not for just a get, get, uh, let's, let's do something fad for the moment. You locked in. All right. All uh, the rest of my life, I will have to take some type of vitamin. All right. To make sure that I don't become deficient. I have to make sure that I have my, get my protein in. I have to make sure I drink enough water in between the times that I'm not eating. Because guess what? You can't eat and drink at the same time. Okay? So, yeah. So, as somebody that's maybe used to doing that, that can be kind of be tough to get used to. But, I mean, you just think about it like this. You only have just this little bit, little bitty banana shaped stomach, right? Just this picture of banana, right? And... It's like you're competing for that space. Like you got to make sure that you get your protein in. You got to make sure that you, it's like the, the the food and the water or the, the liquid is competing for that spot. All right. So you know, you got to have both, right? So you want to make sure that whatever's in your tummy at that time has, 
I mean, that it's, it's doing what it needs to be doing, all right? And that, um, and even, I even say this too, that, you know, if you're, eat, if you're eating and you're drinking, you're not really giving your, your stomach time enough to really properly digest and get the nutrients to the rest of your body that it needs because you're flushing it out, which causes you maybe to get hungry quicker than you probably would have. So that could cause weight gain because you're eating more often. You're eating, I mean, y'all, you just gotta follow your doctor's orders, okay? And, um, and everything. Follow what the doctor's telling you to do um, and everything. So, um, that's basically, um, all that I have to really say about being two months out. Well, I will say that I did, you know, after being out of work for six weeks, I did go back to work. So, oh, that has been kind of a challenge because, you know, my body is still getting in the mode of getting back into, you know, regular life because while I was off work, if I wanted to take a nap, if I wanted to get up, be up for two hours and go take a nap, I could, you know, but when I'm working a nine to five, you know, I can't always just go to sleep when I want to, you know, so it's, it's like, I've been dealing with extreme tiredness. So that's that's another thing that I have been dealing with, which I did deal with that before prior to surgery due to fibromyalgia. So I'm not sure if it's that or if it's just um, I'm still healing because I believe I'm still healing. It's still the effects of the surgery as well. And uh, so I have implemented just a little bit of caffeine back into my diet, but I'm really trying not to just go overboard with that either because I was a caffeine head before, you know, and I don't want to, you know, be dependent on that all my life to, to get up and be able to function and do the things I need to do every day. So... I've been um, taking, you know, my vitamins. I have some B12 drops. Uh, I've been trying to make sure that I'm up on my water, making sure that I don't get dehydrated because that could be another reason why, um, you know, that you're tired and stuff like that. So I would say so far the journey has been pretty good. Um, I've had some pain points as far as... Um, I know, just, just say, me and my husband, we have, you know, from the beginning, our thing was going out to eat. Date nights, um, all that good stuff. And it's like, it's different now. You know, like, we still go out, we still hang out, we go eat, you know. And it's even better now that I can implement more things. But while i'm well for me of course he enjoys his food but for me it's like like i said your your relationship with food changes so it's like well i'm sitting there and i'm i'm sitting and i'm eating it's like i'm really not enjoying my food like i normally would be like you know i would enjoy it like it tastes good but it takes me so long to eat it to where it's just like okay I gotta chew this like 30 times before I swallow it. Each bite, bite's about that big. And I mean, it's just like, okay, I'm, I'm my jaw is tired, I'm tired. <laughs> but you know, I try to focus on, um, even with that, I try to focus on, of course, us and conversation and, you know, and just spending that quality time together as husband and wife. So that helps me get through it. But I probably wouldn't just go out to eat uh, with just, you know, just to be going. I would rather sit at home and eat because, you know, I can nibble a little bit, put it down. You know, it's like when you're in that restaurant setting, it's like, you know, you can't be there for an hour eating, you know, because you may have other things to do. So it's kind of like the pressure is on like, okay, 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, because you try to hurry up, you know, because you don't want to be <laughs> there for two hours trying to finish a meal, you know. So that's about the only weird thing that, um, that you know, getting used to that. But other than that, um, everything is going well. Um, like I said, I am, I'm 203 pounds. So, so excited about that. Never been that close, uh, to my goal. Now I will say that I have been that size for a week. All right. So I don't know if I'm hitting another stall, but whatever the case is, I'm going to keep doing what I got to do. I've been clear to exercise, so I will be exercising. So I will be uh filming my exercise sessions because that not only can i i want to be an inspiration to you guys but i also want to keep myself you know intact and accountable as well too and that's gonna motivate i believe that's gonna motivate me to uh you know stick with it like okay i gotta do this i gotta do this workout so i found some workouts on on youtube so i will be doing that plus i will be going out to the gym now <clears throat> i did mean to go to the gym i had good intentions to go to the gym this week but uh sleep won that battle so i'm going <laughs> look i'm gonna be implementing that too because i want to of course get into the weight training and all of that because i already know that the pounds are gonna drop you know um and everything but i want to make sure that i'm toning as i go um and to make sure that i don't uh, you know kind of lessens the probability of loose skin and all of those things so so yeah that's it so like i said if you have been on this journey or you are going to you know have vsg make sure you put that down in the comments let's let's follow each other um, I would love to be a support to you and as you be a support to me as well. So, um, that's going to be all that, um, so probably the next video I do is going to be a workout video. And then y'all, I still owe y'all, I'm going to be showing you, um, I'm going to, I'm going to do a video about what you, what I took to the hospital um which it was an overnight stay which i didn't really take much but um i will be um doing a video on that and i'm also going to be doing a video on the stages of food the different stages that my doctor put me on which were pretty general stages mine was a little different because of the hernia surgery that i had as far as the timing of you know that i was on each stage but y'all thanks for viewing thanks for watching like i said if you have any questions anything uh feel free to put those things in the comments don't forget to like share and and subscribe okay come on uh join the lady with uh adventures with lady t fam <laughs> all right y'all until the next one